If your butternut squash is rotten and very small, the flower is not even getting to open, or maybe sometimes the flower open and then it's still rotten. So this could mean this could mean a couple things. If the flower is open and it's still rotten in a couple days, it means it didn't pollinate. Pollinate means you either didn't have any bees in the garden, or you could come in the morning time when the flower is open, take a paintbrush, get some male pollen from the male flower, and then gently apply it to the female, and that would fix that problem. But if it's still rotten. Now, what we have to do is increase your calcium. Increase your calcium by adding garden lime or whatever source of calcium you could add to your garden. That works really fast. Now, if the now if the flower is not even getting a chance to open and it's turning brown and falling out, the plant is stressed out. Mean a lack of fertilizer. It didn't have. It doesn't have enough fertilizer. You got to keep a healthy plant. You know, it, it could be in simple stuff like overwatering. Maybe you water too much. You know, you you can't water too much. You water too much, the soil gets over damp it turns green the plant leaves are turning yellow and that, that could be a problem the other problem is either the temperature is way too high or the temperature is way too cold now I'm gonna show you behind me what I'm problem I'm going through so you can learn from that now butternut squash with my experience it will grow it could survive into 60 degrees to like 73 degrees probably it all depends on where you live with the humidity level. Butternut squash will take at least 110 days if not pruned. If you prune it, it will grow faster. The reason why it's a heavy feed or two, it grows a lot of side shoots. It's not, forget about the plant, it's a runner plant. It grows a lot of side shoots and produce a lot of leaves and fruit. So this is why every two weeks I recommend to add some kind of fertilizer. Now, now when it comes to watering, you have to water every two to three days. I have about six plants running upward and you could see the leaves are looking really bad and um, I'm having uh, a lot of problem look see that they're turning brown right there now I can tell you why that's turning brown for me right there and number one is way too much water we got rain was five days in a row we had two breaks uh, two days off and then we had another three days of rain so it was over water and we was it was cloudy Butternut squash, as I said, need about six to eight hours of sun. We did not get that sun for days. So that's what happened to lead to this problem. And also we're in the low, we're in the we're in the 50s in the night. So this is way too cold. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prune most of the, the leaves off on the bottom. I'm gonna cut all the top off because it doesn't matter. It doesn't make any sense for this plant to grow anymore right there. It's not gonna survive. If you have this problem, go ahead and top your plant off because just remove like that. Let's cut it off because what happened, even if you cut off the top and you have side shoots, it will still grow. But I don't need anything more to grow except my butternut squash. As you can see them right now here, they need to grow. So we're going to leave a couple leaves on and we're going to prune off all the side shoots and cut off all the top. So the energy don't go to the top or go to the side. It just stay to our fruit and grow on our fruit so we could get a harvest. We do not have the weather on my side right now. So hopefully... We could keep this bad boy going, but I'm going to prune like right here. Example, we have the main root coming right here, right? And then we have a side shoots here, but you see all that growing right there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to prune this off, remove that. So now when the energy is coming, it's going to be flowing to that. It's not growing to that over there. So I, this will be growing faster. So we're going to leave a couple healthier leaves on the top. But I space them out about at least about uh, 12 to 14 inches apart. And you can see I prune all the bottom so they get good airflow. But you can see how my soil is still dark. Look how dark it is. So that means it's really wet. And when you start getting green, it's really, really wet. These are all pak choy seed I just planted. They will grow fast. Those are pak choy. So when it comes to your butternut squash, you cannot over water. You need sun. You need fertilizer. And you got to make sure you prune off some leaves on the bottom to get good airflow. I end up cutting off all the growing tip, pruning out all the bottom, cut off all the side shoots that unnecessary taking away energy. I left a couple leaves on and, and until they don't reach that tan color, we're not going to have any rain. I'm not watering for the next three days because then after that we're going to have rain again. So that should uh, water enough. So I, when you get rain, you don't need to water. Skip a couple days, at least three days because you get heavy rain. You don't need to water all lettuce. I have to harvest all that lettuce too. But so this is extremely pruning. Don't do this until, unless you have this problem. You're coming into the winter garden. Before I go, I wanted to show you guys my boots that I'm wearing today. Cal Cal. This thing is easy to slip on, slip off. It's 100% waterproof. It's lightweight. And I've been using it this week so far. And I was like, maybe I should share this with you guys. And it does feel good. It's very soft, nice. It's very flexible. Like you could bend down and stuff on it like that. 
does not have a problem and it's been working really good with all the rain that I have. And you're looking for garden boots or you're looking for stuff, this right here, I'm telling you, the Cal Cal, uh, it's a good quality boots and I think it's on sale right now on Amazon. Check in the description box below. I'll leave the Amazon link so you guys could check it out if you need one. If you don't need one, you don't need one. But if you need one and you want a good boots, highly recommend it by Green Tea Garden, baby. So follow my step if you have butternut squash problem like this. And if you have any question, and feel free to ask me. I will answer your question. If I did not see a question, I do apologize. If it's an important question and I did not see it, please comment in any of my video. I will get back to you. And for everyone who's been watching Green Tea Garden, I do appreciate it. You guys hanging out with me. We're coming. We're in fall time in Long Island, New York. We're getting ready for Halloween. So maybe I'll show you guys a short video of my Halloween decoration we're doing. And we're uh, the kids are loving it. And we're doing it for the kids. Before I go, I might start a channel membership to help out my garden because it's very expensive to keep up with a garden. So my channel membership will be exclusive stuff like you get like you know my video right away. You get different posts. And I might do some behind the scene and then get to know Green Tea Garden. And if you guys just want to hang out and ask questions and whatever and stuff like that, uh, that will be coming up. I will be doing an intro video. So I will be setting it up slowly and see how that goes. But regardless, I still do video here and it's all free. And um, we're going to keep it going. If you're new, welcome to Green Tea Garden. We're all about growing a better home garden right in your backyard, your balcony, or even indoor. So I did found two different racks with the grown lights. I'm trying to figure out which one I'm, I'm gonna get. It's not that inexpensive, it's just cheap, just cheap stuff, but what it is gonna do is to grow some vegetable in the winter right in our home so we do not run out of veggies and have to go to the store. If, you're getting, if your garden season is coming to an end, get yourself an indoor garden system or a rack or whatever you want, grown lights or whatever, and grow indoor, grow your own food, don't buy fake food from the store.